Hello everybody, Louise here. It's my bedtime. I've actually got on a little jacket that I actually wear to bed. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little softy fleece and if it's a chilly start to the evening I jump into bed with it on and underneath it I've got on my what I wear at night. But I'm not going to reveal that. <laughs> But it's, uh, it's, it's time for bed and um, I'm just reflecting on my day, thinking about the things that I, um, that I did that, were, that, 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 that went well and the things that uh, I did that, or that happened today that were not so good. And you know, it, it's it's a good thing um, before you go to bed, before you go to sleep. It's a good thing to just allow yourself that moment when you get into bed to just reflect on your day and kind of revise the day in your head. Because you see, if things went a bit wrong at any point in your day and you go to bed and you don't kind of look over it and revise it what what happens is that your subconscious is going to kind of dwell on that all night if it's something that you feel like you have an emotion attached to it that you might feel slightly bad about then that is present in in within you all night long and your subconscious mind is is that part of you that 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 creates that carries on creating all the time whether you are aware of it or not you know it it is that fertile soil that you plant seeds in that will grow something which becomes your personal reality and your subconscious never sleeps. Your self-conscious mind goes to goes to sleep, but the subconscious mind is is kind of ticking over there like a like a um, like a sub program in the background, and uh, and it 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 doesn't it doesn't sleep. It's it's going. So if you go to sleep worrying about stuff with things on your mind that were not quite, you know, you go to bed like that, anxious about something, then overnight your subconscious is going to be pr sort of working on that, if you like, and bringing more of the same to you. It's, uh, that's the way, um, that's the way creation works because it's all about vibration and frequency and uh, you know we generate an electromagnetic field around our body and the brain is the electric bit and the heart is the magnetic bit and the heart is connected with what emotions you're feeling and if you're feeling anxious and so on you're broadcasting that out into your universe and then the, the, the subconscious mind kind of is, 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 is picking up on that more than um, what you would really want. You know, you go to bed with anxiety or fear or worry or feeling pissed off about something, you're going to end up waking up in the morning and, and well, every day is like Groundhog Day then, pretty much. So it's a good thing before you go to sleep to just kind of process your day by letting go of the things that were not to your liking by revising them, looking at them and defining them in a different way. So why don't we just together now, just if you're going to bed now, if you're not going to bed now, maybe save it till the time when you are. Just close your eyes, closing your eyes and just breathing. Gently breathing in and out. 
and then focusing on the breath, entering in and out through your heart center, breathing in, noticing your breath entering through your heart center and breathing out and noticing it coming out through your heart center. And just slowly becoming more relaxed as you breathe, becoming more and more relaxed and focused on your heart, focused on love, love for yourself and love for the day that you just had, regardless of whether it was good, whether you judge it as good or bad or indifferent. Look back on your day with love. Look back on your day and notice those things that you did really well. Notice the things that you enjoyed. And feel good about that. Allow yourself to feel good. Allow yourself to feel happy and pleased with what you did. And then look at those things that you judge as not having been quite so great. Something that maybe went wrong. And in your mind, revise it, turn it around, change it, make it into something good. Even if it's something silly, like somebody said something horrible to you that hurt your feelings, revise that and change it to this somebody said something lovely to you and it made you feel good. Change the past, why not? And let yourself go to sleep. Let yourself rest with only loving positive feelings and thoughts in your mind. So just revise your day like that before you go to sleep. And notice maybe how much better you might sleep because of it, how much more relaxed you might be because of it. It doesn't take long to do that, to just close your eyes and Revise your day. And that's it. I'm going to go to bed now and go and revise my day. Nothing much bad happened today, actually. But I do have my uh, sprained wrist still, which I did a few weeks ago now. And, it, and I put the brace back on it again because it's been really sore today still. And it was x-rayed at the time and they said it wasn't broken, but I'm beginning to wonder if it is broken. Really, uh, but I, I don't know, so I might go to bed and revise that and uh, create a better wrist for tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, sending you lots of love and see you next time. Bye.